three, two, one, zero. Hello and welcome everybody. This is your host, Leervok, and you are just in time for more Doom. In the last episode, we got through the research center. In this episode, we're entering the foundry. Uh, we are on our way to meet... Uh, yeah, I believe we're on our way to meet with Samuel Hayden. Um, are we? Let me see. Is that... Uh, foundry reactors are critical meltdowns. Samuel Hayden, survivor and head of the Mars. Offer you help if you need it. You don't. Just need more. Just need ammo and a way to stop the meltdown before it tears the base apart. Okay, so we're not, actually, we're not meeting him. Okay, we're finding a way to, to stop the base from blowing itself up. Uh, either way. <laughs> we now need to stop the, mel the meltdown. So, let's, uh... Oh, that's... After running more diagnostics on the active Praetor suit, it appears that I can accelerate the upgrading of your arsenal by measuring your combat effectiveness. I have added a tracker to your helmet's display. Oh, great, so... The facility will not allow you access to the turbine room unless the demonic threat level is brought down inside the foundry. Our security systems cannot be overridden. Huh. Oh, so now the door's gonna open for us. So in addition to hearing things in our head, hearing voices in our head, we're going to be seeing things now. Whew. Almost, almost missed that jump there. Ooh. Oh, ooh. I think I want to save that for later because I think we're going to get something. Probably won't switch over to shotgun for those guys. I thought I saw something. Shoot him. Oh, nope. Close. Oh, there he is. Okay, and there we go. There we go. So satisfying. Actually, I should probably look at what the, uh, hold on, tab, there we go. Three possessed with one explosive barrel, three deaths from above, one possessed soldiers. Okay. So that one's not going to be too hard to do, the death from above. Oh, that would have been, uh, that would have been perfect. Uh, oh, I know this area. Okay, so we're gonna hit this. It's not gonna work. It's not our thing, our hand prints. Yep. And we there we go. We hit this. You do not. If you know where to go, you do not need to use these holograms. Just let you know. Just wanna. So you see, uh, what in the world is yes, that? Detected. That is actually a uh, hell knight. There you go. I had to remember which one was which. And we can't make it across. The hologram is going to tell us to go this way, by the way. Ooh, Praetor suit. Okay, and I think we have enough for another upgrade, right? Or... Let me see here. Oh, we just have the one, okay. We need three more to get the... Mm. Okay. We need two more to get the, up to get the upgrade. Uh, let me check the map. What else here? Got the drone. Um, hmm. The thing about the the thing about the supply drone is is useful uh, for getting new for new upgrades. Yeah, obviously that's like half the point. Actually, that's the entire point of the, of the drone. 
But the biggest problem... Uh, okay. That is... So many levels of wrong. And so many levels that's also wrong. <laughs> okay, uh, now we can... <laughs> and this is even more wrong. Oh wow, that is... Uh, morbidly funny for some reason? I don't know, I think my sense of humor is rather... Stop. Is rather, uh... Dark and kind of... Bleak, I guess you could say. I have like a rather dark. Uh, one of my favorite shows is South Park. I mean, that, that's got to tell you something about my sense of humor, right? <laughs> Your devotion to the well, let me put it this way one of my favorite shows is South Park after. Uh, which season, oh, which season was it? Season Go four or five? Jones. Whenever it started getting like. That oddly weird relevant stuff. The top when, after it started started getting topical, and though currently it's kind of going in this weird, it's kind of weird direction. And right here is where the uh, that switch leads us right in here. So yeah, we got a new area to go to. Only we can get shotgun shells here if we need it. So yeah, it even it even replaces the ammo and everything in here, which I don't think it does in the actual map. Um, the actual map, I think it actually uses the the actual ammunition. Um, I just blew myself up. Okay, that was a little weird. The music kind of hushed a little bit when I did that glory kill. Oh, it does! Yeah! Okay, that's, I, that's interesting. I never noticed that before. Yeah! The, mu the music, uh... The, vo the music... Drop. Music vol the volume for the music drops whenever you do your glory kill. Ooh. Do you have any more barrels? That's it. You gotta kill three of them with one barrel. So you gotta find two more. Uh. And we had those. Damn it, we had those possessed soldiers. Soldiers we could have done the. Well, we're gonna run into plenty of them later on third one. Find two collectibles. Okay, that's not going to be hard. It's actually one of them right here. Got another Argent Cell. And <laughs> they're doing this in the middle of combat too, that's the funny thing. Okay, so what do we have? Health? Um, hmm. Well, yeah, we'll keep doing health. We need the armor. Okay, I guess is that not? I guess it's not counted as a collectible. Okay. Oh, I wonder if they only count the the Doom guy thing, the little Doom ring figures. Oh, there they are. <laughs> they, they'll eventually catch up to us. <laughs> Actually, I was watching a uh, one of the crack cracks of videos. Are you kidding? Ah, oh, really? There's a third one there the whole time? Um, uh, dang it. Dang it! I'm playing an M-Raid game and using and using a family-friendly swear words. <laughs> Let's face it, that's what dang it actually is. Dang, darn, darn, uh, drats, shucks, Shoot. Remember, All those are just family friendly house. curse words. <laughs> they all mean the same thing as whether or not you say damn or hell. When someone says, ah, oh, heck. Which I don't know anyone who does say that. Kid, like, child, adult, or otherwise. Okay. So, let me assess my options here. We have the Gornest down here. 
Oh, we got them here. Oh. No, that didn't. Oh, there's, there's a security guy. There we go, death from a curb stomp. I mean, it's still death from above. I love that you can pick this stuff up and then, like, they just, like, act like. That one. Oh, that one wouldn't count it, regardless. Oh! Yeah. Just wanna. I know that, I know that, that doesn't count because it has to be the possessed soldier specifically, which. I'm not sure if this guy counts. Well, damn, didn't have enough time to. Okay, so I mentioned, uh, I believe it was last episode, the sol the uh, possessed soldiers, and there's the Hell Knight, our first one. Is it? Or is it? No, because we, we we fought the Hell Knights. Hey, the Hell Knights are not new. There's our second curve bomb. Why am I thinking they are new? Damn. Oh, we still got an upgrade for this. There's our final curve bomb. Okay. Wow, why didn't I think to do that? I actually know the perfect upgrade. Can we do? Oh, <laughs> brutal! What do we have here? Plasma rifle now. Oh no, no, the new one. That's new. Okay. So the hell knights are new. Okay. So that's why I thought they were new. They are new. <laughs> so before we go any further, um, yeah, we need to keep going this way. So then you go back and get that upgrade so we can upgrade our uh, our machine gun, our assault rifle. There we go. So with the machine gun, we have the choice between the tactical scope or the micro missiles. Personally, I would say the micro missiles would be the best thing to get uh, because the tactical scope is just zoomed in. And there's li literally no difference. It's zoomed in. Now you get like stuff like uranium coating, skull cracker, which which allows you to pierce stuff. Um, and lightweight allows you to move at the same at your regular speed while zoomed in, because when you're zoomed in, you know you tend to slow down. Not very useful. Um, the other two are, are though. Micro missile is a lot better, and especially once you fully upgrade it. Oh my gosh. Once you fully upgrade it. Okay, so right clicking, you pull out your your missiles. Uh, you can hold up to six missiles total. Each one takes two ammunition instead of one. There's no way to change that. And whenever you fire it all fire it off all your all your ammo, it has you have to let it reload. It takes some time to reload. Um Excuse me. Now that said, hold up. Hold up. Here's the cost. Oh, they must start off at three or something. So all these are really good for upgrading the micro missiles, and then the bottomless missiles is awesome because you just can continually fire non-stop we're going to start off with reducing the cost and yeah right there yeah so I think it was three before now it's two now it's down to two okay never knew that before but cool um which one we got the yellow key? Yeah, we got the yellow key card, so we can open up yellow keys. <laughs> okay, so uh, first thing we're gonna do, we're gonna go go there. Um, but I think we're gonna save that for the next episode. So in the next episode, we will be taking out the four gore nests. At least that will be the plan. Until then, 
I will see you guys. Hold on. Okay. I will see you guys later.